Welcome back to Stock Trek, and we will be talking about Rocket Lab's infamous neutron rocket that is currently in development as we speak, and we're basically going to be going over how they are going to accomplish this. Now, this is a big deal because this rocket is going to put Rocket Lab in direct competition with SpaceX, so to speak. While we all know that SpaceX is a very established space exploration company, Rocket Lab is nipping at its heels. And while many people may not think that, you know, it's able to overcome SpaceX, I think that Rocket Lab is in a very good, solid second place spot right now when it comes to the launch industry. And beyond the launch industry, that is soon to be found out because I believe Rocket Lab has a mystery box that they will be eventually opening and revealing to all of us sometime in the near future. Uh, now, what I mean by mystery box is they might have several, kind of like, you know, those, those Russian dolls where you open up one and then there's another one inside. Well, I think Rocket Lab has their little line of, of Russian dolls, so to speak, in that they might open one and say, hey, we just had an acquisition. And then they open another one and say, oh, we're going to be creating our own constellation. And then they open another one and they say, okay, well, we're going to be starting this business along with the satellite constellation to generate massive amounts of revenue. So I do think that they have their, their little dolls lined up in a row, so to speak, tucked away in their little box, not yet revealed. But today we are going to be going over the main doll, which is the Neutron Rocket. Now, I'm going to be going over things from start to finish so you can understand the complex process that Rocket Lab is actually doing by creating this rocket. So from start to finish, I am going to be right there with you monitoring the whole development the whole way through. Uh, you can actually start watching the development. I have actually started um, a playlist solely on Neutron on my YouTube channel where you can follow the newest updates on Neutron and the developments and that will be uh, posted shortly um, after this video so keep your eye out on that we will definitely be tracking neutron from start to finish and beyond so neutron will have its own special spot but in the meantime let's get going and see what's happening with neutron so of course we need to first talk about the place where neutron is going to be flying from and neutron is actually going to be in mars Yes, Mars, and not, not the Mars that you're thinking, not the planet, but the Mid-Atlantic Regional Spaceport, and that is in Virginia, and so Rocket Lab basically is going to have their own special launch pad for Neutron. It's being built as we speak, and uh, it's definitely something to keep an eye on. Uh, because that launch pad is where Neutron will be launching, hopefully, the end of this year if everything goes according to schedule. And we really need it to go according to schedule, those of us investors. And the reason being is if it doesn't go according to schedule and they don't launch, like in December, when they have planned and it gets pushed back to next year... That's a problem when it comes to, you know, competing for certain space contracts and revenue with the U.S. government. So we really, really, really need this rocket to be built and performing by December of this year. So let's follow Neutron's journey straight from development to build and back to the pad starting now. Now Mars is simply the regional spaceport, but Rocket Lab will be launching from Wallops Island. And Wallops Island is basically a six square mile island in Virginia. So it's next to that Chin Chincoteague Island. Try saying that 10 times. And some of you may know that island. It's, it's very famous and prominent uh, where it used to have a lot of wild horses. So it's, it's located quite near there and Rocket Lab has their facility there at Wallops Island. So they basically have their Launch Complex 2 for Electron there, okay? And that Launch Complex 2 can serve up to 12 missions a year. That, and then they're building a Launch Complex 3, and that's going to be Neutron's launch pad. And that's going to be uh, just a little bit further... Um, 
south. It's going to be located at the end of Wallops Island. Now here's what's interesting is that Wallops Island in the Mars, you know, the regional spaceport is only one of four spaceports in the United States licensed by the FAA Commercial Space Transportation Office for vertical launch to orbit. And Wallops is the only U.S. launch site other than Cape Canaveral that is capable of launching to mid-inclination orbit and also capable of human spaceflight. Boom, right there. So Rocket Lab definitely chose a spot for human spaceflight. I know I've touched base on this several times why I think Rocket Lab being capable of human spaceflight is very important. Now, Rocket Lab may be saying, especially Peter Beck, the CEO, that human spaceflight is not their top priority. And it's not. It really isn't. What, what is their top priority is Neutron right now, getting Neutron workable, you know, taking care of their customers' payloads, taking care of their own payloads eventually, having their own revenue generating product and then maybe then they will start looking at outliers like human spaceflight in the future because we don't know what the future will bring in the space economy but i just think it was really cool that they chose that site and they they were smart because that is the only other site besides cape canaveral and cape canaveral is just already hustling and bustling with so many space companies and spacex of course you know and yeah, so I think it's cool that they chose the other one that was available, which is Wallops Island for human spaceflight. Now, as far as the Neutron development and production goes right now, we may be looking at Wallops Island in Virginia as like the center for it, right? It's the nucleus of Neutron. But Neutron, it's going to come together so like... It's just going to come together from all these different places. It's insane the journey that we're going to go on to discover how this rocket is being put together because honestly, it's not being put together all in one spot. In the future, I believe it's going to, but right now, their very first one, it's coming from all directions, people. It's, it's just all over the place. So let's go look at this incredible journey from blueprint to blast off for the very first neutron rocket. Now, Rocket Lab also has a site in Middle River, Maryland, and there it manufactures spacecraft. So the 113,000 square foot complex used to be the Lockheed Martin Vertical Launch Building, but however, Rocket Lab is now putting it to good use, and it will be using that uh, manufacturing facility to supply launch vehicles for the Neutron rocket. So think about it, their, their launch vehicles, it's part of it's going to be coming from Maryland and it gets even better. So let's take a look at the Rocket Lab engine. So there is a Rocket Lab engine uh, development manufacturing complex and that is located in Long Beach, California. It's a 144,000 square foot manufacturing complex with a high rate production of Rocket Lab's 3D printed Rutherford engine for Electron as well as to be used for development and production of the Archimedes engine that's going to be used to power the new Neutron rocket. Now, once that Archimedes engine is produced, it is then going to NASA's Stennis Space Center in Mississippi. And from there uh, is where Rocket Lab will be uh, designating the A3 test stand. So basically the engine is going to be tested in Mississippi and once it completes testing in Mississippi, then that engine will be transported over to Wallops Island and it will be basically mated with the rest of the uh, spacecraft and the components and then it will be put on the flight pad. Now keep in mind that testing for Neutron, just as I mentioned, is going to occur at other sites than the production complex at Wallops Island. So we don't have to wait for those complexes that are being built at Wallops Island. As you can see, uh, bits and pieces are going to be coming together in different states, you know, from Mississippi to California. So as far as, you know, things being completed on Wallops Island, 
we do not have to freak out if we don't see certain things finished by a certain time frame. So that's basically the whole journey of this neutron rocket is that, you know, parts are going to be coming from different states and they will be combined and tested in other states and then they will be sent back to Wallops Island for its final flight on that launch pad. So no wonder they started breaking ground on launch complex because they really need that. ASAP because as we know while they can start putting everything together elsewhere they need to launch from launch complex 3 and they can only do that with a launch pad because as I mentioned before there are only you know four places that can do a vertical launch for for spaceships right and Wallops Island is one of those few places. So there's no room for error when it comes to that launch pad. So I am really happy that they are breaking ground on that first. Now, to put things into perspective, the Electron rocket is 59 feet tall. And this new Neutron rocket is a whopping 130 feet tall. So it's definitely a lot bigger than what they're used to flying. So that's also going to, you know, prove to be a feat for Rocket Lab to accomplish something that's more than twice the size of its original rocket, getting it up into the air and getting it flying. I hope you had fun exploring the Neutron journey with me. Don't forget, I am creating a special playlist solely for Neutron, all Neutron updates, your one-stop shop, all for Neutron from development to, to the latest news to even till after it flies, you will find Neutron all over here on the Stock Trek channel with me, Stock Trek Girl. And as always, until next time, invest long and prosper.